McAfee looks ready to get this one underway. The Rams are back deep, waiting for the kick return. up a first down that's that's nice the Colts go with the dime formation here on defense from the gun gets it out for the completion they'll mark him at the 41 you got to be able to adjust when you run these drag routes across the field the throw cannot always be right on target can you reach behind make the catch and keep going full speed that's the sign of a good receiver The Rams snap it at the 41. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. The Colts guessed right on the defensive side that time. They thought it was going to be a run play. They were all over it, and they got it in the backfield and made the tackle. The Rams are at the line, facing third down, which was not an issue for them last week as they converted a number of times in crucial situations. Wants to go deep. Connect. Well, my man at quarterback does have a strong arm. He showed it that time, didn't he? He threw that thing high and far and just overthrew the receiver. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. He began his career as a Miami Dolphin before finding his way to Jacksonville. Six foot three quarterback Chad Henney. The Rams didn't get much out of that last drive, so now here they come again on offense. I'm sure they're going to be a little bit more of an urgency to the offense this time. Well, I'll just say this to you, Jim Nance. I sure hope so. After that last drive, that was just too generic. Wasn't very well thought out, but they got to change what they're doing on the offensive side. Got to give that defense a little credit, though, don't you? Well, yeah, the defense did its job, but man, that was pretty easy. Second down and six. Scrambling out of the pocket. They bring it down at the 41-yard line. Beautiful job that time by the QB. He goes back there in the pass play. He doesn't like what he sees, and he just takes off and gets the yards and gets a first down. The Rams snap it at the 41. Gurley's tackled down after a gain of five. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Here we go. Second down and five. Gurley's going to take the handoff now. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. This is one good tackling defense. They stay in good position at all times, and we saw it that time, and they stopped the play for a short game. The Rams still driving as the second quarter gets underway. It'll be third down. The Rams come to the line and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. Two hands on the football and has the catch. It's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense reacts to the run, and now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. He will not get away. He's taken down for the sack. Cook's got the catch and the first. That's his first. 
first reception today. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good, the defense didn't even see that he still had the football. He throws it down there for a nice completion. The Rams have been awesome today on first down. That time, it's a nice play design. They throw the football, it picks up solid yards, second and short. Boy, that's what every offense likes to be in. Second down, two to go. Allen's all over that offense and brings him down. The Rams will look to get to the 13 to pick up a first. He's got the catch. Games 16. Good job by the offense getting the first down in the red zone. Now it becomes tricky. Can you deceive the defense? where you get a chance to get a score. Defense ready in the goal line formation on this one. Dives across, and he's in for the touchdown. The Rams take the field again on offense. They'll be looking for a repeat of their last drive. They came away with a touchdown and really had the defense on its heels. Well, it's going to be hard to repeat what they just did because it looks so easy and it was well done by their offense. And I think when you talk about situations like this, it really comes down to one thing. Can the offensive line continue to dominate? So right into the hurry-up offense they go, into this two-minute situation. Yeah, these guys, all these pros, they've been doing this stuff since they were in high school running the two-minute offense, so I know they're ready for it. When you run the slant route, it's very important to know as a receiver that you're going to catch that football probably in between some linebackers. The Rams will take the snap from the 30. Gurley has the good catch. Davis is there that time for the tackle. So they complete that one, yet it's still second down. It's all about decision-making now as they work out of the hurry-up offense. Yeah, it's really up to the quarterback. Make sure to watch the clock. Don't get a sack and don't get tackled in bounds. Make sure you get the message to all your teammates. The offense needs two yards here on third down following the incompletion. From the gun. Mason's got it. First down. The Rams have driven inside the red zone, and last week they were so effective inside the 20. First down and 10. And they get the quarterback. The Rams signal for the timeout, and that's the first one they've used. And now they'll try over again on second down. Gurley's the receiver on the screen. Nice job that time by the runner. Gets out of bounds after the play. You got under two minutes, and you need to stop the clock. So he gets it done. The ball is just three yards out of the end zone. Goal line defense on the field. First and goal. And that's good for only a yard or two. The Rams will take a second here to talk things over as they call a timeout on second down. He'll take, and he's in for the touchdown. 